Hi, I'm Jairo. I'm speaking to you from Guyana in South America. I'm 26 years old. I'm a LGBT youth advocate. Growing up in Guyana, I witnessed a society that has some alarming rates when it came to sexual and gender-based violence and issues when it comes to gender inequalities. It's almost as if we've culturized discrimination and bullying. While growing up, I decided that, well, I have to be a part of that change for my society. In high school, I was known for starting riots and petitions in the school. The principal said that I have the potential to burn the school down <laughs> um, based on my views and, and getting rallying people together for change. I started in journalism where I wrote opinion editorials. That moved on to university where I started to speak um, in class about women and gender relations. Right now I would say I'm fighting for social justice, equality and the rights of lesbian, gay, bisexual and trans persons. LGBT rights are a major issue in Guyana considering we still have colonial laws. There is a law on gross indecency which prevents any person from the same sex from even holding hands and walking on the road or even hugging or touching each other. It personally would hurt me as a gay man to know that I cannot express love and affection the way anyone, any heterosexual person can. I'm trying to fight these laws by community advocacy, that is meeting people, by political lobbying, meeting stakeholders in government and policy makers. Part of my work involves me going into the most homophobic communities in my country. I can remember this one time I was on my way to Linden, a town. There was medical professionals in the region, and I can just recall in the bus, I was going, ugh, I really don't want to do this. I got off the bus, walked into the conference room, staring at the faces of all the medical professionals. I lost a bit of confidence because of how I felt these people were looking at me and what I was saying. But you know what? I have to do this. I have to for myself and for LGBT persons. At the end of the session, two nurses approached me and they said, you know what? I may not understand LGBT rights or persons, but I do understand that I cannot and I will not discriminate or harass any LGBT persons that come to me for healthcare services. Discussing things that are taboo would come with people who are so against your position and your values, but you know what? I absolutely love it. I love the, the, the fights on social media. I love the discourse, the tirades. Because at the end of the day, if one person is not going to accept it, three persons are at least going to read it and understand that these are services that are available and these are the resources that I can access. In Guyanese society, children are always taught to be seen and not heard. But you must. Whenever you walk in a room, just remember that you're there for a purpose. Use your presence. Use your voice.